Today, we will be using online resources to look up chemical and physical properties of compounds. Let's start off by visiting the library's resource site for Chem 224. It is a good idea to use the library resource page links since it will grant you access to the databases required. This site provides several valuable online resources for finding information on chemicals you use in laboratory. The best place to start looking is the Sigma Aldrich online catalog. Sigma Aldrich is a major chemical supplier. Their website often contains chemical and physical properties and spectral information of the chemicals they sell. For the purposes of this video, we'll do a simple example together. Acetone. Type acetone into the search bar in the top right and search. Click on the first search result. On the right-hand side, you see the structure of acetone. On the left-hand side, underneath acetone are several pieces of useful information. CAS number, chemical formula, molecular weight, and the materials safety data sheet, MSDS. The MSDS shows any information related to the safe handling of the chemical involved. You can also find the price of your compound on this page. Next, let's go back to the library research page to find out more about our compound. You can also use a website called ChemSpider to find the physical properties of most compounds. Click on the entry for 2-propanone, a synonym for acetone. This gives you many of the other chemical and physical properties you may not find on the MSDS or via Google search. Let's return once again to the library resources to find more information on the hazards associated with acetone. Scroll down to the section titled Hazardous Properties. If Sigma Aldrich does not have an MSDS, then the university's database likely does. Click on the link NC State MSDS Management System. Search for the compound of interest, acetone, and click on the entry to view the MSDS. Return to the library resource page for CH224. Oftentimes, we also need spectral information like IR or NMR of the compounds we're using. Click on the link for AIST's SDBS and follow the directions to the search page. Search for spectra by name or CAS number. Select the types of spectral information you need, HNMR and IR for experiment 1 in CH224. Click on the results corresponding to your compound. Links to spectral information are on the left side menu. You will need to print a copy of the spectra for your compound so you can turn them in with your report. Let's return to the library resource page for CH224 to find a synthesis of your compound. Scroll to the Preparation or Synthesis section. You can use either Reaxes or SciFinder. For SciFinder, you will need to register with them, which you can do for free through the library's subscription. First, let's use Reaxes. Click the link finding a method of synthesis. Then click Reaxes through NC State's library. Click Reactions. You can search for a particular compound in several ways. The simplest is to click Create Structure Template from Name below the Structure Editor box. Enter the name of the compound of interest. Click Submit and you have it drawn out for you. Make sure Product is selected as the role of the compound in the reaction. Then click Search reactions. Several reactions with conditions will show up with links to the literature from which it came, if you want more information. Let's return to the library resource page to go through using SciFinder to find synthesis of your compound. Go to the Finding a Method of Synthesis page, scroll down to Other Possible Sources, and click SciFinder. Under Access to SciFinder, click SciFinder is available through NCSU Libraries. From here, 
if you haven't done so already, register with SciFinder. Once you have registered, return to this page and click the banner containing SciFinder's logo to access the database. Once you signed in, on the left menu click Chemical Structure under Substances. Click on the Structure Editor box and use the tools to draw your compound. On the right side of the Structure Editor, under Get Substances that Match Your Query, click the circle next to Exact Search. Click OK to exit the editor and click Search. Click the entry for your compound. Click Get Reactions. Make sure Product is selected and click OK. Much like Reaxes, this shows the different reactions with their conditions, yields, and original papers.